we are in for some severe isolated thunderstorms heading our way. So it is advised that you all seek shelter at this time. This one could be one wild ride. Oh geez, it's really looking very crazy out there. Yeah, I'm sure glad we managed to come inside before the storm got worse. Say Tyler, weren't your parents supposed to arrive right about now? I've been trying to get in contact with them, but no one's answering. Maybe they're really busy at the moment. My folks said they'd be here in 15 minutes. Of course that was like 30 minutes ago. Last thing they told me was that they were in the midst of some heavy downpour. You don't all suppose there will be some form of blackout? What are the chances of that happening? We haven't had a single blackout in a while. They probably improved the utility company, so there's no way a blackout is going to happen all of a sudden. You were saying Richard. I called it. No need to worry y'all. It's just a little electrical shortage in the box. I just checked the electrical box. Looks like that storm done knocked the power out. How long do you think it will take until the power comes back on? It could be a couple hours, or even a day. A day? Usually the power will go off for 15 seconds to a minute and then come right back on. This storm sure did something all right. I do hope the power comes on soon. Don't worry, this type of stuff happens. All we have to do is be rational about this while we raid out the storm. Well, I'm going to be texting my parents that we are going to be here for a while. Wait, what? Well great, it looks like I have no service. Neither do I. Well great, it seems the storm not only affected the power, but it also interfered with the cell service. And this night just keeps getting worse. It keeps getting worse and worse. This traffic is slow as hell, not to mention there's this heavy downpour of the storm that makes it hard to see ahead even with the windshield wipers. Dude. We are all stuck in one place, so you may as well just get used to it. I swear people these days can be so annoying. Gosh. No 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 no. Why of all nights, does the lights have to go out now? I have to finish this paper for school tomorrow, I'm almost there. What? How can my Chromebook be at 15% already? Did you remember to charge it? I knew I should have charged this thing in between my breaks, now I'll end up turning in a half-done paper. Will they excuse it? I don't know Louise, and I don't want to take that risk. Perhaps you could work on your phone wait never mind. This stupid storm somehow interfered with the phone service. Besides, I would prefer to preserve my phone's battery life. Ugh. This night sucks. I'm scared. Don't worry Kiara, it's only an outage. I'm sure this storm will blow over soon, and the power will return. What are you two web screaming about? It's just a damn blackout, get over it. Sorry Trita, it's just that the lightning was just very loud and it startled us. In curiosity, when do you think this whole situation will be over? I don't know, ask mom. What bunch of babies? Wow. Hey mom, dad? Oh, hey there Kiara and Carolyn. Is there anything wrong? Oh nothing really, it's just that. This thunderstorm is really freaking us out. Don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. Just take some deep breaths. <sighs> okay, I think we feel a little bit calmer now. Okay, I'm really not liking what's going on with this storm. And no, I'm not scared of it, so you two keep your mouths shut. Look, everything will be fine, Trita. Yeah, at least we have each other. Normally, I'm not really into the mushy things like this, but in circumstances like here, I can make an exception. Don't you dare tell another soul about this!
Ugh. I'm so bored. Well sister, welcome to the awful night of boredom. Where at least one night is filled with nothing but dreariness and hopelessness. Well on the bright side, at least we have each other, and that we are safe under this roof. Well, that's true, it probably could have been a whole lot worse. Yeah, this night may have been very dreary, but it will not pass no further. See, we totally got this. We are all in this storm together, so let's ride this one out. So? What do we do now? Besides waiting? I don't know, I guess we just have a chat. So, anything interesting happened this week? Well, I gotta say the highlight of my week is that my soccer team won a score of 14 to 10. That's amazing Richard. I too had a pretty chill week, more or less the same, but I did win a bet in basketball. What was the bet for? Just to see who can shoot a three-pointer the best. I totally nailed it. Wow. Um? Great job Jeffrey. My week has been going great. I've done a tremendous job at speech practices. Tyler, how has your week been? Oh my week has been great. Just great. I was able to get a decent grade on my earth science test. Oh yeah, that test has been quite difficult for most people. I just barely passed that by only two points. Okay this isn't working. We used to be able to engage in good conversation, what happened? Bad jubies. What? This is exactly like an episode on one of my favorite TV shows where a couple of friends had to hide underground from a dangerous storm. Things got quite tense between them. That was only a cartoon Richard, that's completely unlikely to happen here. If you say so. How about we lighten up the mood with a little storytelling? On this stormy night, a man, who once resigned here returns to spread terror and fear to those who is in his presence. I think I know where this is going. It's going to be a story with an alleged spirit with a utensil for a hand. Which turns out to be some random dude looking for a job. Heard this story many times. It's not that, but it's the story of The Midnight Man. The Midnight Man. Dude, it's 10.59. Besides, The Midnight Man only shows up if you play some type of ritual hide and seek. And we're not doing that. Oh man. I was going to get to that part. 